few uh, warm ups and then focus a little bit through the hips and pelvis today. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, knees going toward those second toes, and then ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders lined up. Get your core active, so ribs toward your spine and up. And just feel the spine lengthen as you do that. And reach your head toward the ceiling. Arms relaxing. And just take a moment focusing inward to breathe. Let your belly move out as you inhale, filling your lungs. And as you exhale, push the diaphragm up and out with those toxins releasing and the belly sinks back in. And just take a moment noticing how your body adjusts with that breathing. And then inhale and bring your arms to shoulder level, but keep your shoulders down. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, elbows slightly back. Inhale out to the front, shoulders down. And then clasp your hands just gently behind you and press them toward the floor, lifting your heart, and start a nice little upper body back bend. And then pivot as you exhale and come on over. Hands up, head down. Move your chin around and start releasing your neck as well. Take a breath. Just relax. Feel the legs stretch a little more. And then bend your knees slightly. Start at the bottom of the spine and work your way back all the way up. And another back bend, lifting your heart, drop your shoulders, and don't lift your chin too high. Keep stretching through the back of the neck. And then on an inhalation, come upright, releasing your arms back in the mountain pose. Feel your body again, sinking evenly into your feet. And once more, arms at shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your chest. Stretch out to the front, shoulders down. And then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So shift the fingers in one position over, pressing them down as you lift your heart. Again, feel the back bend and then pivot out of it into the forward position. And again, deepen as far as you'd like to go today. Chin toward your chest, just slightly stretch the back of your neck, hands toward your head for those shoulders to move. And knees slightly bent, again, wind from the bottom of your spine all the way up. And another upper body back bend, chest high, shoulders down, and stretch your head away. Take a few breaths, keep those toes spreading out. And inhale upright, releasing into mountain. Feel your body a little bit more stimulated along your spine. And we'll do the side stretches. So bring your arms to shoulder level, shoulders still down, palms up, and hands right above your shoulders. Pass them, clasp, and bring your arms back by your ears. Everything facing the front, stretch it out and lean directly to the side, no twist. And just feel those ribs stretch apart. Put your foot down that you're leaning away from for the extra opening. And reach out through your head and fingertips. Inhale back to the center. Switch the other hand to the front. And again, pull your arms by your ears. Stretch open your spine. And no twist. Lean to the opposite side. So remember, make sure you're not leaning your shoulder forward but you're stretching it out to the side. Foot going down, hands going away, ribs opening. And then inhale upright, release your arms. So side stretches for the spine. And now we'll do the twist. So remember, we want the spine open, base of the spine and base of the skull stretch apart. And again, shoulders back and down, everything straight, arms at shoulder level. Your palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders. Cross your elbows this time, and again, arms stay by your ears. Stretch the spine apart and turn for a twist. Another breath in and exhale over in the twist. Deepen as far as you'd like to go and just relax. Spread your toes, lift your sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears. And then slowly work your way up, lift your heart, pull your elbows back and your shoulders down. 
Upper body back bend while you're just to remember always gently that lower back. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. And again, pull them by the ears and stretch the spine apart. Exhale to the other side. Another breath. Exhale over. So deepen it again as far as you'd like on this side. Keep the weight on both feet. Just relax into it as much as feels right. And then slowly work your way up, lifting your heart, drop your shoulders, pull your elbows back. Again, upper body only for that back bend, not overworking the lower back. Take a breath or two. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center. Shoulders down, fingertips up, extended mat, and just feel that whole spine lengthen as you reach your head up as well, and sitting bones down. Feel the weight on both feet evenly, and just take a moment in extended mat, and stretching everything out. Arms out, coming to shoulder level, pivot at your hips, pivot all the way to halfway to the floor, stretch everything straight, and then drop into ragdoll just So lift your hips, lift your sitting bones, pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your legs if you want to. And just feel that stretch along the whole back of your body. Hands back to the front, knees slightly bent, and slowly round all the way back. Again, shoulders back and down, coming into mountain pose. As you get into mountain pose, just take a moment, feeling your spine all activated and opened. And we'll start opening those hips a little bit more. So a nice little pelvic tilt. So turn the toes slightly out, bend your knees toward, not beyond your toes, hands above your knees, and then pushing the sitting bones back, dropping the ribs, looking to the front, feel that whole back bend through that lower back, and then pull the ribs back, hips back, and round forward looking down. So the whole pelvis is moving as you do that. Sitting bones down and forward, and ribs down, lengthening into the back bend, and then sitting bones coming forward to, to the front, and ribs back into the forward bend. So feel that whole pelvis moving back into the back bend and tucking down and forward and allowing your whole body just to lengthen and stretch, especially getting that pelvis area moving. And exhale forward bend and then inhale back up. And just feel that hip area a little bit more worked out. Shoulders rounding back and down. And one more mountain pose. Bring your hands to your heart and step to the end of the mat. And look at our fingers as we bring them up toward the ceiling. And bring those thumbs back, a nice little back bend. Feel that front of your hips stretch here. And then exhale, bring your hands down and to the floor. Pivoting all the way over, ragdoll. Slide your hands up under your knees, halfway up, stretch. Bend your knees, hands under your shoulders or on the floor. Your fingertips or palms down or bring a block and raise the floor if you need to. And then step the right foot a big long step back into lunge position. Hips coming down and just feel that front of the thigh hip area on that right leg and let it relax. And then bring your knee down to the floor. Just try to be a little above the kneecap or put some padding under the knee and slide your toes back. So again, feel that hip front stretching open a little bit more. And then if you want a little more, you can bring your hands up onto your front knee. And again, just sink straight down through the hips. Take a breath. Just relax. And then hands down under your shoulders on either side of that front foot. Tuck your toes and come onto the ball of the foot, base of the toe, and press back through your heel. Keep the hip low as you do that. 
and then press forward into ragdoll, releasing that hip, relaxing it, palms together, inhaling to your heart, to the ceiling, into a little back bend. And just turn your hands so you can see what I'm doing on this side. So lift your heart, shoulders down. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivoting on over once more. Drop into ragdoll, slide your hands up under your knees on your shins. Halfway up, stretch, get nice and long. Feel that release through those hip flexors. We're going to stretch them again. Bend your knees, hands to the floor, wherever they go, or with your blocks. And again, step a good step back. Feel that lunge and that hip starting to open. And once again, bring your knee down just above the kneecap or pad a little bit under it. And again, keep that knee on the front leg right above the ankle as you bring your hands up onto the knee. Remember, not a lot of pressure in the hands, just supporting upper body up, lifting your heart slightly, dropping the hips evenly toward the floor. Feel that stretch again. And then exhale, hands on either side of that front foot right under your shoulders. Tuck your toes under, lift the knee, not the hip, coming onto the ball of your foot. And again, make sure that knee doesn't sag out or in on that front leg. And then push forward, relax and ragdoll. And again, hands together, going all the way up into your back bend. Take a moment and breathe as you stretch that front of your hips. And we'll do an exhale again into ragdoll. Drop as far into that as your body likes. Lift your sitting bones, slide your hands up under your knees. And again, elbows, knees, and spine straight, releasing those hips. Bend your knees, hands under your shoulders. And again, the right foot back into your lunge. And just breathe. Bringing the knee down to the floor behind you again. Make sure that front knee stays over your ankle. And again, slide those toes as far back. Stay there, hands to the front knee. Or we're going to bring it a little further with the arms to the front, up toward the ceiling, looking up. Sink evenly into those hips again, just letting that whole hip front sink down. Exhaling, hands down, either side of the foot. Again, right under your shoulders. Tuck the toes, lift the knee, not the hips. Get as low with those hips as you can for that nice lunge position. And again, pushing forward, feel the release as you relax into that down. Hands together, and again, following all the way up into your upper body. For a nice back bend and stretching those hip flexors open as we're in the back bend. And exhaling, hands to your heart, pivoting over, dropping into right foot. Hands up under your knees, stretch and straighten everything. Exhale, hands under your shoulders to the floor and the left foot stepping back into your lunge. Again, keep those hips as low as you can as you start. Front knee over the ankle. Spread your toes, bring the knee to the floor. Stretch it back. And again, you can bring the hands to the front knee or slide those hands forward and up toward the ceiling, looking up. Hips down, just relaxing, deepening into that stretch along the front of that left hip flexor. Take a moment and breathe, exhaling, hands to the mat. Again, make sure they're under your shoulders by that front foot. Tuck your toes and lift your knee, not your hip. And again, get it straight from your ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder as you can. Feel that whole body. Make sure that front knee doesn't pivot out or in. And again, push up into the end. Hands together, inhale, and to the seat. Nice back bend. Feeling that stretch through the hip flexors. And we've got one more set to do. So just breathe and relax as you stretch. Nice back bend as deeply as you like. Exhale again, hands to your heart and down into right down. 
Hands to your shins, stretch and straighten. And bend your knees with the hands coming down. Right foot again into your lunge position. Bring your knee down to the floor. Slide those toes back. Knee over your ankle on that front leg. And again, you can slide your hands up or you can pull them around behind you and press the hands down toward that foot behind you as you again lift your heart evenly toward the ceiling and sink those hips evenly toward the floor. So again, just feel whatever's right for that stretch along the front of your thigh on the right side as you sink those hips down, opening that hip flexor a little bit more stretch. Take a breath and relax. And then wherever your hands are, bring them back down to the floor. And tuck your toes, lifting your knee, pushing back through the heel. And notice that that front hip uh, or the back hip on the right leg is a little bit more stretched. Push forward, releasing that stretch and relaxing the ragdoll. And once more, hands together all the way into the back bend. Stretch those hip flexors, and we've got one more side to do. Take a breath, just relaxing, and lengthening. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivoting over. And again, a nice release in ragdoll. Hands to your shins and stretch everything straight. Shoulder blades toward your waist. Bending your knees, hands down under your shoulders. Left foot stepping back into your lunge. Take a breath, relaxing. Check that front knee, making sure it stays where it's supposed to. Knee to the floor, above the kneecap, or to the pad, and toes sliding back. The more you slide those toes, remember, the more you'll get that stretch. So be gentle if you need to. And back into your options, hands to the knee, to the ceiling, or clasp the opposite way behind you, pressing toward that foot behind you. And again, looking up, heart high, everything even toward the front as you sink those hips deeper toward the floor. Take a breath, exhaling and relaxing. Of course, on your own, you'll want to hold these longer to get more stretch. But for now, bring your hands on either side of that front foot from wherever they were. Again, tucking your toes and lifting the knee, but not the hip. Press back through the heel, out through the crown. Feel that whole hip flexor on the left side, really getting a good stretch. And then push forward into right down. Hands together, inhaling, coming toward the ceiling. And again, heart high, hands back, and stretching through the neck. Feel those hip flexors open. Deep and maybe into an even deeper back bend if you love it. And then exhale back to that pose. As you get into that pose, just feel that front of your hips a little bit more warmed up. And once more, hands to your heart. Inhale to the ceiling, another back bend. And really, hips pressing slightly forward so those hip flexors stay nice and open. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivoting over, and another leg down. Hands up under your knees, on your shins, elbows, knees, and spine straight in that halfway up stretch. Feel those hips releasing, and then bending your knees, come all the way to the floor, and a nice total release for those hip flexors as we bend forward into child's pose. Take a breath, just relax. And toward the floor, knees together if you like that low back stretch or apart if you want to breathe more easily, shoulders relax. Take a breath or two. And then inhale, sit up on your heels. We're going to bend the mat back and put it under our knees for a little support as we go up into the camp. So bring your whole body up, knees and hips lined up and shoulders right above your hips and knees. We're gonna take the hands to the lower back, the heel of the palm right about your shoulder blades and the fingertips down towards your hips. 
and then rotate your elbows in toward each other. So feel that part opening, and then pushing the hips so they stay right above your knees. Move your head back and look up toward the ceiling, but don't lift your chin too high. You want to keep stretching the back of your head. So supported camel, hands on that lower back for a nice support. Just take a moment there, feeling those hips again, opening along the front of your body. Just gently let them stretch, exhaling any tension. Now you can stay there. You can tuck your toes under and lift your heels. And we'll put one hand back on the heel, and then back to the back, and then the other hand back to the heel. And then just a little extra stretch on that side. And if you like that, you can do both hands back to the heel and keep those hips pressing over the knees, staying forward. Again, don't lift your chin too high, push the chest forward. If that's not much of a challenge, you can bring those feet down and instead of going just to the heels with them lifted, you can go all the way to the floor or you can stay in the back supported version just keeping those hips right above the knees and looking up, pushing the head back and the hips forward. And then wherever you are, bring your hands back to the back. Give yourself some support and then pivot your hips back and forward with your head into child's pose, giving another release to your hips. Take a breath, just relax. And then inhaling, step up and slide your mat back out. Bring your feet out into the end of the mat, into staff position. So pressing out through your heels, keep that core active and supporting your spine, shoulders above your hips, hips, knees, and ankles also lined up. Use that core for support. We're going to be rolling onto our back, just slowly coming to your Safe room with your lower back, then your ribs, and your shoulder blades, and finally your shoulders all the way down. Take a moment to breathe as you get all the way onto your back and just relax, especially through those hips. We're going to use them a little bit more in a bridge. So again, shoulders down, hands next to you, palms down. Press your sitting bones toward your heels, so you'll bend your knees and press that back of your body down. And then draw your heels in right next to your sitting bones as deeply as you can with the knees straight up. So remember a little roll in at the top of the thighs to make sure that your legs don't spread apart. Mark the bottoms of your feet evenly on the floor and your feet will support you. Shoulders down. And remember, you're not going onto your neck as you go into bridge, only onto your shoulders. So press your hands gently down, press the lower back all the way down, really get that or contracted, sitting bones toward your heels, and then lifting the hip bones, inhale them up. Keep those knees right hip width apart, don't let them spread apart, and press up onto your arms and shoulders, feet supporting you evenly as well, make sure they're hip width apart. Take your hands underneath you, clasp them, and then bring the little finger inside, Press the sides of your hands down and your arms, and move up onto your shoulders, not your neck, keeping the back of your head on the floor as well. Lift those hips straight up toward the ceiling. Feel that front of your hips open even a little bit. Take a breath. Just relax. Press into your feet. Lift those hips maybe a little bit more. Feel your shoulders, arms, and feet supporting you. Make sure your neck isn't down. And then release your hands. Release your shoulders. Come out to your shoulder blades, your ribs, and your whole spine to the floor. Check those knees, make sure they're still straight up, not spreading apart. And we'll do that one more time. Remember, when we clasp our hands underneath, you're going to shift them one position over this time so that other little finger is inside. So again, take a moment, press the sitting bones slightly toward your heels. Make sure those knees are still straight up, not spreading apart. Core is activating, pressing your spine down. 
And next, your palms down and inhale the hips coming up, lifting those hip flexors, those hip bones right at the front of your thighs. As you get up into a comfortable lift, take your hands under you and clasp them the opposite way so that other little finger stays inside. And again, sides of the hands and arms support as you work your way up onto the shoulders. Check those knees, make sure they're still straight up, not spreading apart. Hips are lifting, back of the head is on the floor. Press into your feet evenly, lift those hips, arms and shoulders supporting you, not your neck or head. Take a breath and lift, feel those ribs up as well. It's a nice little back bend here in your bridge. And then releasing your hands, release your shoulders, and your shoulder blades, ribs and spine again to the floor. Take a moment, feeling that hip area all nicely open. And we're going to do one more bridge version. So allow your body to relax. And remember, personal practice, if that what we just did is enough for you, you can continue to do that version. So shoulders down, hands next to you. Feet hip width apart, heels near your sitting bones, and knees straight up. Press your back down. And then lift your hips and again bring them toward the ceiling evenly. So your knees and hips are rising, your ribs are going up, your hands are clasping under you in your first position. Sides of the hands down, shoulders moving into place, lifting and supported by your shoulders, arms, hands, and feet evenly. Keep those knees hip width apart, don't let them spread apart. So if you're good here, stay here. Otherwise, we're going to bring one leg straight out, thighs parallel. Stay there or bring your leg up toward the ceiling. Keep both hips lifting evenly, making sure that you're not dropping one hip or the other or any part of your body. And then bend the knee and bring it back down next to that other foot. Release your hands. Release your shoulders and your spine all the way to the floor. Take a breath, just relaxing, feeling those hips release as you bring your body back into the starting position. And of course, you've got one more version of that to do. So once again, make sure those knees stay hip width apart, knees straight up toward the ceiling and heels near your sitting bones. Press your back down. And again, inhaling, lift your hips straight up toward the ceiling evenly, hip bones going as high as they want, ribs lifting as well. Press into your hands and bring them under your body so that that opposite finger is inside. Press your hands down, arms down, work up onto your shoulders. And again, lift your ribs, lift your hips, Everything even, make sure those knees aren't spreading apart, press evenly into your feet. And again, stay there if that's enough, or straighten the left leg, thighs parallel, stay there, or bring that leg up toward the ceiling. Hips rising evenly, shoulders, arms, hands, and the foot on the floor supporting. Take a breath, relax. And then lowering that leg, bend the knee, bring the foot back to the mat. And again, releasing your hands, your shoulders, and your spine to the floor. Take a moment and draw those knees toward your heart. That yoga hug, giving your body a good stretch and a release through those hip flexors. And then bringing your feet to the floor and your arms out to two positions to brighten everything out. And we'll do a little twist before our final relaxation. Hands up or down, your choice. And press the back to the floor. Lift your knees or your feet, your knees right above your hips. And you can bring your knees straight over to one side, turning your head toward the opposite side. And again, just since we're focusing on those hip flexors, feel what's going on in the front of your thighs as you twist toward that side. Knees toward the floor, more lower back twist. Remember personal practice, do what's right for your body. And toward the hand behind you, turning 
only as far as your neck needs. And keep those shoulders on the floor for a good middle back twist. Deepen as much or as little as it wants. Remember, you can pad if you need to, just to make things a little more gentle, if that's appropriate for you. Take a breath. Just relax as deeply as you can. And then to release, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, straighten things out if you need to. And again, knees next to each other, hands, palms up or down, shoulders down, and knees along to the opposite side, again, right at hip level, turning your head the other way. Once again, just notice the front of that hip as it goes into its twist, as well as your low back as those knees move toward the floor. And turning, neck area twist, shoulders down, middle back twist, just deepen as much or little as your body wants and needs. Take a breath, just relax. And then again, to release, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, bring your feet to the floor, sliding out, having that whole front of the hip area open and release. Hands, palms up near your sides, and shoulders relaxing down. Take a moment getting into your corpse position, turn your toes toward each other, and then just release through that whole lower body. Feel that hip area soften, just let it sink. A little natural curve to your back, put a little space under your lower back, however much it's right for you. Move your head side to side, let that upper body release as well. Deepening your breath, exhaling any tension. And as your body sinks, just let the earth support you as she always does. Deepening into that earth embrace, let your body go completely heavy and soft, just sinking and relaxing. And as you release your body, just release spots of your body from your awareness. And as those thoughts release, know that the job of your mind is to keep producing thoughts so other thoughts will come to you. Just let them drift away as well. No need to focus your attention on the content of the thoughts. No past or future, no history. No anticipation, just let the thoughts drift in and out without awareness. And just to let your body sink into the earth embrace, your mind lift and float on the ether, and your awareness turn inward. Focus only on that peace deep within. Feel your body, feel your mind, only with peace. And if you have time to keep relaxing today, take the time and enjoy it. It's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you today. Give yourself a good stretch through those hips. And when it's ready, or release sitting bones toward your heels, drawing your heels toward your hips and your knees toward your heart. And that nice forward bend, releasing any tightness in those hip flexors. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its work today in yoga and the work your body does for you every day. And when you've had an appreciation and release, just bring your head and feet to the floor roll it to the side and sit back up getting ready 
for the rest of your day today. Thanks for joining me.